What's going on Iguana Timers? Welcome back. Today we are hunting with the Iguana Man and his friend Nick. But today is looking a little gloomy. I don't know if you guys can see right here. It was raining a little bit. So we're going to see if any of the iguanas have come back out or if they're just going to hide throughout the whole day. Alright, so looking out, we do have a few right here. If you can see, we have one and two and three right now but we're gonna see what else we can find right now all right no big alphas but we have some pretty good medium-sized ones i don't know if you can tell all right see all those little heads over there oh yeah how long is your ride like 12. damn mine's only like eight okay look at all the ones over there yeah, that's what I was pointing at. There's a lot if over there. If we could scare... Oh, there's, oh, there's a nice one right there, dude. Let me try if I can get him. You're on it. All right. Iguana's in a bag. Got him. Nice mail. Uh, Good grab, bro. Thanks. Oh. Ooh, he got a couple of ticks on him. Do he? Yeah, he's just he, uh, right here on this dewlap. Holy crap! Those are huge. Look at these things. Oh my god, look. And they're like, they've been eating away at it too right there. Oh you man, that? yo, he's missing his dewlap. Wow. Bro, those are some massive ticks, bro. Alright, bro, this is another good eater right here. So you guys kind of see, like, between shooting and snaring them right there, like, if you got a nice shot, definitely shoot them. But farther away, like, the iguana, you know, could still, like, be kicking and stuff. But... You see this guy right here, he was right there, able to get him live with the pole. And no way, there's no way for him to escape. He, he couldn't escape once you put that line around his face. Nice. There's, there are some over there. Well, this is my first time ever taking off a tick. Is it hard? I mean, it's like, it's like just but picking what about, up. What about these huge ones though? Are they, gonna, are they gonna like bite me? I don't know, bro. I mean, they're biting the feels, iguana. It feels like a grape. Oh my god, how do you grab onto this? Oh! Whoa, it's moving! Dude, that is sick, bro. Let's kill this thing, bro. <laughs> oh, that it's not dead. Yeah, just maybe, me. it's maybe it's dead, but I don't even think so. God. Guys, comment down below what should we do with these ticks? Should we kill them all or should we use them for fishing bait? Let us know in the comments down below. Do they even make great fishing bait? Um, I don't know. Alright. <laughs> He's like, all right. What happened? He got away? Where? Oh, shoot. I see it. You want I'm going to have to run around the corner of him. Get him before he gets away. Shoot. Should I cut through? I'll cut through this. Cut through? Yeah. Right now, Iguana Time just spotted an iguana lurking in this little pasture right here. He's got the air rifle. We're not trying to take any risk on letting this iguana escape. Check that out. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that right there. Look at that right there. That's one hit kill right there. Perfect shot. Right there. Whew. Let me refill Dude, this you up. didn't even need the extra BBs, bro. Yeah, let me just... Dude, that worked good, bro, because you were able to sneak up on him, you didn't have to take the far shot, and you just got him in one kill, bro. Oh, wow. There's a lot. There's, oh, my gosh, bro. There's a lot of females out there. Yeah, we're trying to get some eggs. A lot of... Oh, where did she go? Oh, she went down here. The twig is in the way, so I... Funny, it came off through. Pull it. Just keep it on her. I'm gonna go around the twig. Knock her up. Oh, right Knock there. Her up. Knock her up. Ooh. Ooh. Big, big female iguana. Look at this. Oh my oh, gosh. She's, she's tough. Oh look man. She's pattern. Look at the pattern. Big female iguana. Mouth flared right open right now. I got the pole, bro. If you want, appreciate it. Oh, oh she wow. whipped me a little. Oh wow! Look at this. Ah, uh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, oh, she's strong for a little girl. She's They're strong. They're feisty, bro. They got hormones, bro. Full yeah. of eggs. 
<sighs> Careful, dude. <sighs> that is a nice iguana, bro. That's probably the best one of the day. Oh, whoa. Look at this female. <sighs> Stomach looking a little full. <sighs> What do you think? She might have eggs? Bro, I think it's a definite chance that she has a lot of eggs in her, bro. High chance of a lot of eggs in her, y'all. Look at this bright green iguana right here, y'all. Crazy pattern. Female. That is, I'm, I'm actually low-key kind of jealous, bro. That's a nice iguana, bro. Tasty looking. Oh, let's get you one now. It's time for me to get on the board yeah. man, with one of these big girls. You got a, you got that a lot is of good. an impressive iguana, bro. Oh, thank that, you. That's that's some good stuff right there, bro. Thanks. You guys seen how the iguana time did it? He was able to sneak up on this nice female iguana, put his lasso around her, and just like that, y'all, a little patience, a little perseverance. He's got a nice female iguana with eggs in hand. You got tape iguana time? Yeah, I got it. I'm good. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. Now you guys saw the iguana I just caught right here. It's a nice female, nice color to her. Her stomach is a little big right now, so hopefully she's pregnant. Hopefully she has some eggs. Don't forget guys, these guys are invasive, so I potentially stopped like over like 40 eggs to be laid. So that's 40 less iguanas to worry about right now. Oh, whoa, dude, that's a nice size. Thanks, bro. There's Dude, a, there's a lot of females out right Where'd now. Where'd they go? Did they all swim out? A lot out? of them. A lot of them. Oh, I see. I see. I see one right there swimming. All right, so we're we're with Iguana Man right now. He's about to show us how to properly, professionally clean an iguana. First thing you want to do, you mainly euthanize your kitsch. All right, so now that we euthanized the iguanas, what Raj is doing is, what exactly are you doing right now? Right now, I'm trying to bleed out the iguanas, make sure that the meat's gonna be a little bit more cleaner, mm -hmm. not as bloody when we're cleaning it. Oh, okay, okay, so you, so you hang them upside down, basically? Yep, oh, yep, just okay. for a couple minutes. Okay, okay. Do you see how easy that head came off? <laughs> Gotta remember one thing. Sanitization is number one when you're cleaning any animal for food. We got this foam cooler head right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use that as our cutting board. Absolutely insane. Just imagine, for $3, you can get this basically razor blade on a handle that will make cleaning any animal more convenient. Careful just to get the skin and not puncture any of the innards. And you can see this iguana right here is just absolutely full of eggs. That is insane. In my opinion, these eggs right here are the best tasting. All right, you see how they have this white casing around it? That lets me know that these eggs are developed and mature. When the eggs are yellow and small, they're kind of chalky tasting, not as flavorful or texturally pleasing as these ones. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. that y'all the eggs are out give it night now what you want to do is give it one nice swift chop like that break the breastbone and there are the internals now that we bled this iguana you guys are seeing why it's a lot less bloody than what it would have been and don't be alarmed if the nerves start twitching and stuff like that you got to remember these are basically living breathing dinosaurs that has survived nerves are still kicking we'll give it a nice grab like that everything comes out give it a cut right here where the pubic bone is 
just pops right in. Swift cut up. There we go. And remove all that intestine. After you gutted your iguana, the next step is you want to skin it. What I like to do first is take off the claws. Now after you've taken off the feet, you want to try to get the skin off. Just like any other animal, you want to score the meat on the arms. This is basically the outline of the animal's skin. Make sure all the cuts go and meet the initial cut that you made right over here. After you scored your iguana, you want to try to get the skin off now. What you're going to want to do is start working around the shoulder. <laughs> after, you free your, after you free the first shoulder, start working around the back and free the other shoulder. After you freed both shoulders, grab them and give the back a nice brisk pull. After you free the entire body of the iguana, the next step is you want to skin the tail. Now I highly recommend before you start, score the bottom base of the tail with your knife. Once the tail is scored, Give it a nice, brisk pull. You might have some skin left on the tail. Be patient and just keep working it. If you run out of patience, Just cut off the tail. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to freshly kill and clean an iguana. It's crazy how like muscular they are. 10 a.m. It's still breakfast time 
And I'm kind of hungry, bro, after all that hunting. What do you say we make a nice iguana egg breakfast scramble? How does that sound, bro? I've never had it before, but I'm down to try anything that has eggs in it right now. All right, let's go ahead and start dicing up a tomato. Beautiful, look at that. We do have a bowl. We'll go ahead and put that right in the bowl. Along with the tomato, mm -hmm. we have a nice shallot right here. A lot more milder than an onion. We do have a can of chicken sausage in broth. We have some iguana eggs, bro. Look at that, that's from the hunt earlier today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Let's go ahead and abstract them. Whoa, they're so soft. They're in like this weird membrane, bro. Look at that. They're like soft boiled eggs or something. If there was ever such a thing. Looks like cheese. It does, right? That's insane. The yolk is just so thick. In a way, it seems a little unappetizing, but I don't know. I mean, guess you gotta try the finished product. It's time to just mix it all up. Looks a lot better. To the kitchen. Cook your iguana eggs in the same amount of time as you would cook regular chicken eggs. Is it done yet? Not yet. Almost. Mm. We want it to be nice. Cook. Put it right here for it to cool. Oh yeah. Some flour tortillas. The final garnish. It looks like real eggs. Smell that. Mm, it smells great. It smells good, huh? You ready, bro? Yep, ready. Cheers? Cheers, man. Cheers. You know what? Like, it just tastes like regular eggs. Except this egg, it browns really well in the pan. So you get like a nice crust with it. Like not burnt, but nice. Tagged pretty good. Mm -hmm. And I think the eggs of the iguana has like a really high fat content in it. Do you taste any kind of like off flavor? Maybe like gaminess, any aftertaste? No, I don't. It might taste a little more yolky, but other than that, it's pretty good. And guys, as you guys can see, Iguana Time is... I think he wants another one. Look at him. <laughs> Here, folks, I finished my whole tortilla wrap. Iguana Man cooked up a great breakfast taco right there. It tasted so good. The yolk was there. Did you? What was your favorite part about it? I just like the whole entire complexity and the whole combination of the whole dish. Everything complemented each other, and it, it was just really, like, scrumptious, delicious, and... I mean, it was good, bro. Dude, I totally agree. Like, if I served it to a random person, they would not be able to tell the difference. Like, Family members, friends, like, they might take one bite of that iguana egg breakfast scramble, 
They might want another one. I think it's that good. Well, you heard it here, folks. Straight from Iguana Man. It's just that good. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and look out for more videos.